economy news this morning. It is being called a fascinating company. The most daring digital payment startup. Even Ashton Kutcher is an investor in this thing. It's Des Moines-based Dwalla, and it's a way to pay using your smartphone. Now, Dwalla is just one of the many pieces out there of financial technology that's available to you these days. And financial expert Kurt Pearson is joining us now to talk more about this. So I think the big question that everybody has immediately is, is this safe, this technology? Yeah, yeah we always have uh, the whole identity theft thing in the back of our yeah. minds, don't we? And with the technology, it is very important to research you know, how, how things are encrypted, how, how safe is my uh, data, my information, especially when it gets down into account numbers, social security numbers, and those sorts of details. You want to confirm that. Dwalla's doing a good job with that. Uh, when, when you're analyzing financial technology, you really want to think through, okay, how is it going to help me from a convenience standpoint? And does it, what, what part of the financial process does it help me with? So Dwalla, of course, is all about uh, convenience when it comes to spending money. They're also great financial technology pieces related to saving money and some of the other financial processes that impact most of our households. Okay, there's some others out there too, other apps like Venmo, PayPal, Square. How do you decide which app is right for you? Well, you just do your research on a great technology website. Uh, CNET.com is one that I've used where you can compare these types of services and really get down to the, to the bottom of it. Of course, we have to remember, sometimes we think that an app will change our financial habits or really help us with behaviors. They really don't. They sometimes help define behaviors, and sometimes it's like adding fuel to the fire. So we have to come back, uh, of course you expect this from a financial advisor, we have to come back to, okay, what are our core habits and behaviors, and how would an app or a new piece of technology help us with those habits and behaviors? So for the technology challenged, you know who you are, mom. <laughs> uh, what's the one thing that they should keep in mind on this? Well, again, come Coming back to the habits and behaviors, and if you find yourself blocked or stuck with a certain financial process, sometimes a piece of technology or a piece of software or an app can really bust you through to the next level. Okay, um, could these apps really replace paper money someday, do you think? It's a possibility. In a, in a lot of ways, they already have, haven't they? I mean, uh, yeah. the amount of cash that you have to carry around is significantly Nobody different. has cash anymore, it seems yeah, like. Exactly. Okay. I'm a banker's kid, though. <laughs> okay, Kurt, thank you very much. We You're appreciate welcome. it. If you have a question about this particular issue or any other thing financial, you can call Kurt at uh, Compass Financial. The contact information is on your screen right now. Kurt, thank you very much.